Hey, Brabots! Today I'm going to show you how I hand painted my Barbatos Lupus Rex frame. That's right, I did not use an airbrush on this. Hi, I'm Lincoln Wright and I made this YouTube channel to share with you my experience as a professional modeler in Japan. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Here are the steps that I'll take you through in this series. Hey guys, today let's paint a Gumpla frame with some base paints and some detail work. Chapter 1 Primer and Frame Base Color First, let's start out with a lack of paint that will act as a primer and base color for us. UG05 from Mr. Color Gundam Color. Make sure to mix and thin. I'm thinning with this again, T07 from Gaia Notes. It's a lacquer thinner that's appropriate for brush painting. Using a 50-50 translucent mix, we're giving it a, a soft overbrush. If it's too wet, it'll get down into the joints and we don't want that. So at the beginning, if I have a little bit too much paint on my brush, I'll skip around the joints and come back to them. Now that the brush, like this, nice overbrush. If the paint's too thick, it will leave too much texture. If the paint's too thin, it will seep down into the joints. So this is a good, happy medium. Take it slowly and with practice, you'll be able to spot the right type of paint as well. Some areas like this that we know won't be visible once we add the armor are also ideal for practicing our hand brushing skills. I really care about our community and I want you guys watching and enjoying my content and tutorials for years to come. So let's quickly mention safety. Lacquer paints are very powerful and useful. You will see that I use them in many of my videos, but they are toxic. Let's use them safely by ensuring that first, we have cross-flow ventilation if possible or an extraction system set up. I use a Sparmax booth. Next, you can further improve your safety by using a respirator, one approved for use as protection against organic solvents. Dust masks don't do anything in this regard. I get mine from the hardware store. The brand is 3M and they cost me around $30 and I use them for roughly two years before replacing. I don't want to freak you out. Hand painting with them is much safer than airbrushing because the solvent has evaporated, which is very, very different from atomizing it. Please be careful of any atomized paint. For the smaller areas, I change down to a smaller, pointier brush like this to carefully paint the flat areas, but let's be careful not to flood the model and get too much thinner into the joints and cracks. It can cause problems with Bandai's precision fit and the plastic they use. We can also use the smaller brush to reach into the frame to base coat some of the areas that we plan to paint as details in our next steps. The lacquer base coat will both protect the plastic and give the detail paints, as we will use both acrylics and enamels, something better to adhere to. Thanks for making it through with me guys. Please make sure you are subscribed and have liked the video. Second, please leave me a comment explaining how this video helped you. And third, please head on over to my Patreon website for the exclusive bonus content on Rex's golden claws and painting the pistons as a focal point. We are the biggest fans of Support Local. Doing so empowers Hobbyco and Little Robot to provide us with amazing live events, a thriving community to make friends and share the hobby with, and a really cool in-store experience. Huge shout out to the Rocket Punch Robot team. Ivan, MB Grant, Con, Jack, RJ, Simon, Robert, Kelso, Kevin, David, Derek, and a big welcome to Alan. Come and join our fun Facebook group. Friendly, helpful tips and advice. This video was supported by our patrons. Thanks guys.